Hello guys, this is Grizz from Game Replays and I'm going to do a quick map making tutorial for you. So let's get started. Go to the Steam root folder, go to Steam Apps, Common, Dawn of War 2, scroll down to the bottom, Open World Builder. There you go. And you want to go File, New, um, ignore those options for the time being. You'll learn what they are as you uh, play about yourself. Click OK, wait for it to build the level. There we go, basic level. Um, you can move around using the arrow keys, using holding on the mouse wheel, um, holding Alt to rotate the screen. Single uh, tap of the backspace key, back to normal. Okay, um, icons at the top that you can use, uh, multiple object selection, um, very handy if you want to interact with objects, multiple objects uh, without interfering with everything else. Object placement, that's for placing like sandbags, um, barbed wire, things like that. Um, height map editor, that's for changing the different heights in your level, like making cliffs and stuff. Impassable map editor, um, allows you to select where infantry, well, where units can and cannot go. Um, texture tile painting editor, um, pretty self explanatory. You can just slap different textures down on the ground. <laughs> um, splat placement, that's for placing craters. Lighting uh, mode for altering different types of lighting around the area of the map. Uh, spleen placement, water placement, animation, rulers, stamps, grass, um, waypoints and everything else to the right of that is either to do with errors or different options allowing you to see different things such as if you zoom out using the mouse wheel you'll see that the area of your map becomes obscured by fog so you're going to want to turn that off as soon as you make a map makes it much much easier. Um, first things first let's slap down a couple of page cues you want to go to object placement up here uh, scroll down, well go to the bottom right, go to EBPS, go to World Objects, then go to Gameplay, then you want to go to Starting Position PVP Menu, slap a couple of those down, um, click on them, hold down Shift, allows you to rotate, and there we go, you've got two HQs. Uh, first thing you want to do is click on one, and then go to over to the right, and when it says Player Assignment, click Player 1, and for the other one, go Player 2. And you can do all that for up to player 8. Um, Doughty obviously doesn't support, fully support 4v4 yet, so don't make anything above a 3v3, otherwise it probably will break. Um, turn on a little option up here saying player ownership colouring, allows you to see who owns what. Go to the right hand side again, you can slap down a couple of turrets for each player. Select those, put those on the respective team. Rotate them and there we go, that's generally in the right direction. Um, okay, so that's that. You basically now have a one we've one uh, working map. Um, next item of agenda textures. So go to the texture tile painting editor. Um, you'll see all your different layers here. At the moment, we're on the bottom layer. Um, to create a layer above it, um, simply click on it. Um, find a layer that you want, such as, I don't know, metal, assign layer, you'll get a couple of errors, and then simply click on the map where you want it. If you scroll up on the right hand side, you'll see the brush size, which means you can put down more down at once. Feathering option means you can put down concentrated, or really concentrated in the middle, then really light around it. Strength, that's basically like a spray painter, which means it will just put a little bit down. Uh, just for fine touches and stuff like that. And you can put another layer down, for example. Let's have let's have a jungle stone one, a sign layer. And then you can put more. Oh, turn strength back up. You can put more stone down. There we go. Um, next thing next, you're going to want to play around with height map editor. So click on that. Um, select the height to seven. That will do seven. Um, go up here, left mouse button mode, you want to set value and then you can left click and that will reduce the size of the terrain you have your uh, brush on to f only 7 meters in height whereas the default was 10 on this map. Um, this will allow you to slap some water down to make a nice little swimming pool. At the if you click on that it will show you the water level. It's at 9 meters so if you put it up to 10 it will be at the brinking limit, <laughs> a brinkage limit of the lake. 
you put it up to 10, uh, 11, it will flood the entire map. So you want to keep that down to 8. Obviously, if you put it down to 7, it will go underneath the map because that's what the level your little dip was at. So leave it 8 or 9. Um, next things, next you want to put down some VP, so go to object placement back up here, go to gameplay like you were before with the um, starting positions, and you want to find a victory point PvP, PvP. Right click on the map, slap some of those down. Um, if you go up a little bit you will also notice strategic point PvP which is power points, and strategic point requisition PvP which are requisition points. And that's basically it for your basic map. You can play around with stuff. You can, for example, on here, you can go back to um, world objects. Don't go to gameplay because that's all interactive stuff like player HQs, VP points, um, capital power nodes, and shrines and things like that. You can go to uh, places like Rubble and get some, slap some rubble down on the map, slap some broken pipes down, and there you go. And what you're going to want to do next is go to scenario, scenario properties call your map something, test, okay, and then save as, and you want to go to the root folder, you want to go to Dawn War 2 root folder, and go to assets, maps, you want to go to PVP, and then you want to call your map something, such as test, save that, it will save, save and then bake again, that will actually create the map, and when that's done, you want to close that, go to Steam, uh, right click on properties and then go set launch options and you want to make sure that you've got dash dev in that little bit there, close that, run Dawn of War 2 and wait for that to load and then if you're lucky you should simply be able to go to multiplayer Custom Games, Private, Pico Commander, and you should find your map there and be able to uh, start a skirmish on it. And there you go, your map. Um, hopefully you can come up with something a bit better than this. But um, yeah, spend some time doing it and come up with something amazing. and. Let's get to playing them. Uh, see you in a bit.